Hello guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to Each Planet. I've been busy for some time, but then I would like to. I just decided I want to review the Goldilocks pulver and quickly because I just found this nice fancy uh, box uh, made of uh, uh, which contains assorted flavors. Oh, it's really interesting. I've never seen it packaged before like this, more like um, in a plastic, so it's interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick review in each of them. So I already, wish when you bought this, normally it has like a two pairs for each flavor but I already ate the um, the other pair for each of them so yeah I'll just review each and every one of the flavors are unique here so yeah I only get to taste them once so okay so let's start with coffee Alright. Hmm. You know, you know, you know the the taste when you're eating uh, instant coffee without. Uh, instant coffee meaning three in one that has a creamer, sugar, and the coffee powder or instant coffee powder that's what it tastes like so yeah it tastes like uh, instant coffee tastes good next is ube To be honest, I don't know how they get the ube flavor or how they make it because my family used to make uh, ube and used to sell ube so I know the, the original taste of ube without sugar, with sugar, with condensed milk or like ube halaya or ube jam so yeah, let's taste it Well, it tastes like the, like, you know, similar with the taste like ube flavor, like powdered ube flavor in, in those ube flavored milk tea. So yeah, it's violet. I'm gonna finish it. So it tastes like 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 the ubi flavor milk tea, but I'm not sure if that's the how they produce the flavor. And this one, this one's the classic one. It tastes a little like like margarine or butter, but in the ingredients it did not say. Oh, okay. They check the ingredients for ube. It says artificial flavor. Meanwhile, here it's just dairy, dairy white powder. So yeah, it's like the white powder. But I 
I taste some sort of butter or margarine. And it's milky. So it's really milk. This one, uh, it says, so the fourth flavor is cookies and cream. Mm, I'm not sure what part is the, no. okay, okay. So it says in the, in the ingredient it has cookie, chocolate cookies and milk cane sugar um, sweet whey powder so I'm guessing this will really taste like cookies and cream yes it does taste cookies and like cookies and cream Now, for the last one is the pinipig flavor. Well, for me, I I actually like pinipig, like the fresh green pinipig, not the not the dry one, but the green fresh one, freshly made. But I also like the the dried pinipig. So I have an idea on what it tastes like, even though. I got to taste it when I was very young. I'm not sure if that's pinny pig. I think it's more like Rice Krispies, which is indicated in the ingredients. But I think I seriously think Rice Krispies is different from pinny pig. Pinipig pig have, have that certain special taste, nutty flavor, nutty taste, not just rice crispy. Rice crispies. So those are the five flavors that I've just tried. One, the number one is the coffee, number two is the ube. Number three is the classic. Number four is the hookahs and cream. Number five is the pinny pig. Which flavor I think is the most accurate. I think, of course, the classic. It's their natural ingredient. You don't have to judge them according to, to the flavor. That's what made uh, Goldilocks Colburn famous for what it is now. And the nearest flavor is the cookies and cream because of course cookies and cream is already like a pre-made they just mix like chocolate cookies so yeah I guess it's the nearest pinipig polvoron ube uh, and the coffee well it, it tastes like the common flavoring that you can get from like other sweets or milk tea or just drinks so yeah i guess it's it's just flavoring it's you don't have to be picky about the flavoring it's just uh, to make it taste like that yeah but all in all my favorite is is still the the classic and the second is the cookies and cream so that's all for my review on the sweet delights overall I think it's a good present for for a friend who likes sweets and like a friend who doesn't like sweets anymore but used to like sweets when they were younger anyway you, you don't it's important you don't consume this daily especially if you're beyond 30s but yeah, if you're young, I think it's really nice. It's a really nice um, set of sweets for you. So yeah, that's all for my review of the Goldilocks Assorted Polvoron. I hope you enjoy and 
keep on watching on my channel. That's all from here. Bye-bye.